A uniform electric field of magnitude 440 newtons per coulomb pointing in the positive x direction acts on an electron which is initially at rest. The electron has moved 3 centimeters. What is the work done by the field on the electron? What is the change in potential energy associated with the electron? What is the velocity of the electron? And what is the direction? So I have this uniform electric field along the positive x, pointing in the positive x-axis. Now if you remember, the, the direction it points is saying the, the direction that a positive charge would move if it was placed in the field. So the direction a negative charge would move would always be opposite of the direction of the arrows. So we can already answer the second part of part C. This will move in the negative x direction. So the question asks, what is the work done by the field on the electron? So you remember work is equal to the change of kinetic energy plus the change of potential energy. And this is whenever work is done by a non-conservative force. Whenever work is done by a conservative force, um, what you'll usually end up getting is that the change of kinetic energy plus the change of potential energy is equal to zero. And so in those cases, uh, work is work of a conservative force is defined as negative of the change of negative times the change of potential energy. And the reason that is is because work, uh, regardless non-conservative or conservative, is equal to the force times delta x. And so we can actually use these two equations to define uh, the potential energy of a of the of an electron. So force times delta x. So we would say that work is equal to and the force remember is q times e or the charge times the electrical potential times delta x and so we can set that equal to negative delta PE and so in order to find PE we simply move the negative sign right in front of QE delta x. The point of this being it asks us first to find the work and the second it asks us to find the change in potential energy so if we find the work the change in potential energy is going to be the same number with a negative sign in front of it and now, so Q, we know uh, for an electron, is negative 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th. So Q, let me change this, Q is equal to negative 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th. And then X, it tells us, delta X, it says it moves three centimeters or 0 0.03 meters we're going to use meters but we know that it's moving in the negative x direction so x delta x has to equal negative 0 0.03 meters and then it actually gives us the electric field in the problem 440 newtons per coulomb so when you plug that in your calculator your two negatives are going to cancel out and you're going to be left with the answer is going to be positive 2.112 times 10 to the negative 18th and the answer will be in joules so since work is equal to negative times the change of potential energy uh, so your answer for part A will be uh, this and then the answer for part B will just be throw a minus sign in front of it and there's your answer now in part C it's, uh, it wants to know what is the the velocity and so we have to use this principle up here that the change in kinetic energy plus the change in potential energy should equal zero. So we know what the, the change in potential energy is. It's actually negative 2.112 times 10 to the negative 18th. But if you look at the problem, it says it wants the magnitude. It doesn't care about the direction. So we can just forget about the negative sign for a minute. We can just say uh, the, the magnitude of the change of kinetic energy, the magnitude of the change in velocity is going to be a positive number. So we'll work out our equation. This is the, uh, the equation for conservation of energy. It works with uh, conservative forces. Delta Ke plus delta Pe equals zero. And so we would get that delta Ke, the kinetic energy, is equal to negative delta Pe, which uh, ironically is equal to the work. So the delta Ke is equal to the work of a, of a conservative force. So if we break down uh, the, the equation for the change in kinetic energy, we get that it's one half of the mass times the velocity squared. So if we assume that it starts out at zero, it's, delta Ke is actually Ke final 
minus Ke initial. So the final kinetic energy minus the initial kinetic energy. If we assume that it starts with a zero velocity, and we do minus zero, and this final velocity squared is going to just uh, come in and equal negative change of the potential energy. So if we multiply 2 to both sides and divide by the mass on both sides, we get that 2 times negative delta PE divided by the mass equals the velocity squared, the final velocity squared. And then if we take the square root of both sides, we get that the final velocity is equal to the square root of 2 times negative delta PE over M. Now again, I, I set this up algebraically, leaving the negative sign in there just so you could see how it would be done if you wanted the direction left. But this actually only wants the this only wants the magnitude, and you can only find the magnitude when you take a square root. Uh, basically, because you can't have a negative square root. So I'm going to multiply two times a positive uh, change of potential energy, or you or you could say the absolute value of negative PE. And again, we know what the change in potential energy is, 2.112 times 10 to the negative 18th. Multiply that by 2, and you divide by the mass. The mass of an electron, it's, it's a constant. You don't have to, it's something you can look up. It's 9.19 times 10 to the negative 31 kilograms. And I'll try to make that look like a 31. Yeah, it's not going to work. When you plug all your numbers in, you should get that the final velocity is equal to 2143898.395 meters per second. So if you want, you can put that in uh, standard form, which is uh, 2,143,898, or you can put it in, in uh, scientific notation 2.14 times 10 to the negative, or 10, times 10 to the sixth. But that's all there is to it.